Hi friends, I hope you're having a lovely day today. Today I went down to the train station for another photo walk, captured a couple of photos. I'm going to talk about them. So when I got there, the first thing I noticed was there was an enormous group of, of adolescent males and females uh, congregating on the train platform. An enormous amount. They were, they was, they were swelling over the sides of the, of the, the platform. One, at one point, two of the girls like fell onto the tracks and they got, you know, they were like, ah! Ah, there's no danger, woo! Sadly, I didn't get this part on video, but I, I received the age-old, you look like Sean White, uh, from a distance, and I was like, I, was, I pretended to be him, as I always do. I always go, yeah, what's up? Is it, you know, gold medals. A lot of fun being as successful as me. She has, like, my Sean White impression. So as I'm walking, I can tell that I had their full attention, so I thought it would be interesting to go ahead and pull the camera up to my eye and take a couple of photos. They played along, got a little bit rowdy. It was good times. <laughs> I kept walking. They probably went back to listening to their headphones and the music of the day. You know, Chance the Rapper, Lil Wayne, um, Boys to Men, Chicago, Barry Manilow. Ah, God. Their train showed up very slowly, I might add. The, the, you could see the, the driver of the train was like trying to get them to move back so that he didn't run over any of them. They all chaotically and magically squeezed into the train. I then saw this guy hanging out with his lovely ginger beard, and I thought it would be interesting to take a photo of him. So I walked up to him and asked him if I could take his photo. He was cool with it. Uh, we moved... We moved away from where he was towards an area with a little bit more light I think looking back it would have been better to keep him more so in the shadow I had I had a huge issue with the light across his face from his hat so when you're taking a portrait of somebody it's a it's a rather fast-paced situation and looking back it would have been much better if I actually took him back into the shade to get rid of this weird shadow across his face but I didn't think about that in the midst of my problem solving so the group of photos I captured of him, I tried to put him on a fairly intriguing but also not uh, distracting background. I moved him around a little bit, and in all the photos I did capture of him, he actually struck a very, uh, a very compelling pose. He, he, he had a very good natural look about him. So I tried to capture a couple of photos of him where he was turned this way and was looking off like that. But the most interesting photo that I actually got from the interaction was when he was like this, and I told him, Look at me, and then he turned his head like that. And then turn your head and look at me. Alright. Hang tight. Side note, he said it took about four months for him to grow that beard to where it was. And I told him that if I tried, if I, if I, in that span of time, the beard that I would have would be about this long. I was speaking to Beardy Man about an opportunity at a bar I think he works at. They, he said they may need an event photographer, so that was, I was conversating with him about that, and uh, we exchanged info, this sort of thing, and then after that happened, I realized this other guy was listening to us, and he said he knew of a band that might need a photographer, so we exchanged info, and then I was like, dude, you look pretty gnarly. Can I take your photo as well? And he was like, Shaw. Okay, so let's see. If you want to stand... If you want to stand maybe right here for me. There you go. Yeah, perfect. Just like that, man. Thank you. I really enjoyed his overall look and the playing card he had in his beanie. I captured a couple of photos of him where he was looking off, and then I captured a couple of photos of him where he was looking at me. Once again, him looking at me seemed to be the most successful result. Sometimes a nice, tight portrait is not a bad thing after all. Awesome. Thanks, man. What was your name? All right, I'm James. Good to meet you, buddy. I started making my way over to the train platform where the where the bigger trains come in, and before I could make it to the platform, I saw the, another guy with a beard. This time, a much darker, more, more, more seductive, charcoal-colored beard. Hopefully, this isn't the weirdest question you've been asked today. <laughs> <laughs> you must be in weird places. And I asked him if I could take his photo as well. He was he was uh, very nice, and he was interested. We had a we had a nice little conversation about how he is an artist, and he makes things out of 
clay and then uh, he makes molds in clay and then turns them into like a glass version of that. It was very intriguing stuff. Anyway, I took a couple of photos of him. I actually decided to put him in front of the, the steps that go up to the platform. I thought that that was <laughs> kind of the most interesting background in the in the area to work with. I love to meet people with a nice energy and he had a, he had a good feng shui about him. And that's one of the reasons why I do street photography. So I took a couple of photos and then moved in closer. And as I moved in, like I said, I was having a conversation with him. And at one point he started laughing. So I, I took advantage of that. And that was extremely helpful to the final result. What came out of it was this nice, big, authentic grin. And I would encourage you to, to really engage with the people that you're talking to and use that serendipity of, of a laugh or of, uh, you know, any, I don't know, maybe you guys are talking about something sad, he starts crying. Uh, use that to, <laughs> to your advantage. I think it's a good idea to be very intentional about creating these serendipitous events for yourselves by interacting with the, with the person. It may not, it, you may not get anything out of that, but you may, you, you will miss out on the opportunity if you don't try. Okay, that's it for this photo. Just a couple of portraits and some some crowd shots of, of rowdy kids bumping it up to to uh, to Elvis. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope this brought you value today. Uh, please engage below. I'd be happy to engage back with you. If, if you have any questions, let me know. I hope you have a lovely day. Goodbye. Ah. That's not coffee. I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> hmm.